Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more new videos. Today, we have some recent updates on the Iraqi dinar from various intel groups. Frank 26, you have to start getting ready for when they announce the new exchange rate. A major change is coming very soon, and it's going to be dramatic. Guru Pimpi, the Iraqi dinar is expected to go up in value, but how they manage this process is crucial. Is it worth the investment? I think so, and I'm invested in it. Guru Kapani, there's a lot of hype lately about potential dinar evaluations. Many people don't understand how currencies work. Iraq has a lot of work to do, and if the dinar increases in value, it will be based on the success and growth of Iraq's economy. Guru Militia Man, the Delete the Zeros project is real. We've discussed this repeatedly, and I stand by it. The Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani launched the five year National Development Plan, 2024 2028, during a ceremony held by the Ministry of Planning in cooperation with Iraq Development Partners. According to a statement released by the Prime Minister's Office, PMO, this plan focuses on enhancing services across all sectors and instructs all parties to abide by the plan. The plan emphasizes the completion of renewable energy projects, residential and industrial communities, and infrastructure projects, including Iraq's strategic projects such as the Development Road and the Alpha Grand Port. The Development Road, formerly known as the Dry Canal, connects the Alpha Grand Port in southern Iraq with Turkish territories through a network of railways and roads. The road will extend 1,200 kilometers from al Port's town in southern Iraq to Feshkabur town in the northern Iraqi governorate of Dohuk. The development road includes a railway for electric trains passing through 10 Iraqi governorates. The project also features a railway to transport goods, starting with a capacity of 3.5 million tons in its first phase, increasing to 7.5 million tons in the second phase. Additionally, it includes a highway for land transport and pipelines to transport energy, along with the Alpha Grand Port. The port city is expected to be one of the largest in the Middle East once fully completed by 2038. The Alpha Grand Port, with 100 berths, will handle 7.5 million annually, surpassing Dubai's 67 berth Jebel Ali as the largest container port in the Middle East. Maritime Gateway News reported that the first phase of the port is expected to be completed by 2028, with an estimated annual container handling capacity of 4 million tonnes. This $7 billion logistics project will rival the Suez Canal in Egypt, linking through an overland route to Turkey by rail and making the port city of Basra a gateway to Europe.